Now watch this. This does not want to go in the other direction very easily. I'm just doing it gently. Okay, one more time. It's nice and gentle. Okay, see it doesn't want to cooperate. But let's go in the other direction real gently. Ooh, yes, it went right on through. Barely, but it still went through. Try again. Ooh, and one more time. Uh, this is what I'm trying to illustrate here. This is my one-way stator. It works great when the magnets are going this way, but it doesn't work all that great when it's going this way, which means we have less pull of attraction on this side, and the attraction on this side is greater, which means we have what? An unbalanced system. Because Newton's third law states that for every action, there's equal and opposite reaction. If that was true and correct, then when this magnet got to here, it would stop and come back, stop and come back, and it would just go back and forth until it found equilibrium somewhere in the middle. But it doesn't. See how it just takes off? Okay, so anyway. So that's what I wanted to show you here. I'm getting, I'm just setting up my new lab. Sorry, I don't have any major updates for you all right now. But I figured, you know, uh, let's get the ball rolling again and show you where we last left off some years back. This is a one-way stator. And part of the magic bullet is my special shielding technique. It's kind of like a bucket. And then there are two more layers inside. There's no magnet in here. And then I use spacers. Here, let me show you here. I use this stuff here. It's tin. Tin flashing. Let's see here. Here's an inventory number on it. Okay. Anyway, so this is what I make these things out of, is this. And there's three layers, and some idiot put up a video, a disinformation video. Here, let me see here. Where he's, I put up a video saying, one-way magnetic shielding is the, is the magic bullet. He put up a video saying magnetic shield, shielding is not the magic bullet. That's because he didn't do his experiment right. What you have to do, let me get another piece of flash in here. Okay. What you have to do here to make this flash and work properly is that you have to have, let's do it this way, you take a spacer and put space in here and here. I know it's not very thick, but that's all it takes. And you put the next layer. And you also have to do it in behind here. We cannot allow the two pieces of metal to touch each other. Okay? And then you do it one more time for the third layer. Oh. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, so we do it one more time. Kaboom, kaboom. And now we have triple layer. Okay. You will find that the flux is almost zero. I'll repeat that. The penetration of the magnetic field getting from the other side to this side, or vice versa, is almost zero. And the way I can prove that to you, which I've done many times before, let's see here. Um, I guess we'll do this here. We'll use a screwdriver. Let's see here. This comes off easily. Ah. <sighs> Okay, this is my James Roney stator, one-way stator. So it allows, it's already affecting that wheel all the way this far out. That's how powerful this is. See, it's following me. See, I'm pretty far away from that wheel too. Okay, what it is, is that the magnets are completely open, just like you see here. Oops. So what we have here, it's open. And it's open, but you can't see it because I put tape over it to keep the magnets popping out. Okay, so, and I also made a grave mistake. I used aluminum foil tape. Aluminum 
sets up eddy currents, and that's a big no-no, which acts as a brake. Anyway, you know, like brakes on a car. Anyway, uh, it doesn't seem to be too huge of an effect, but I do need to get rid of this and just put clear tape on this. All right, so let me show you what's going on here. The back side of this, which is the most important part, is the side that these magnets approach from. So these magnets come and approaches the back side. Okay? As you'll notice, there's no magnetic attraction. However, these magnets are indeed, are still attracted to the back side because this is metal. Okay? But what it is, is that we don't have any attraction from this magnet to this magnet other than the steel housing itself. So we do not have what I refer to as magnet to magnet attraction. It's magnet to steel attraction, which is a far less greater pull. However, this side, if you turn this around, which is the open face side, just like this here is open face, but it's, I know, there's no magnets in it, okay? As you can see here, this is open face, but there's no magnets in it. This is open face, oops, but you can see it's got my screwdriver already, okay? Let's see if I can get that off of there, okay. But the back side, ha 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 ha. Isn't that cute? Look at that. And there, there's a big honking magnet in here. I mean a big magnet. And the magnetic field expands way out. I mean like way out to here. You see what it did to the wheel. So watch. See? It's affecting this wheel way out to here. Okay. So, again, what it is, is that we've shielded it like this, three layers with separation. And so we have basically shield, shunned almost exactly 100% of the backside of this. There's just no magnet to magnet attraction, only magnet to steel. Again, the formula to why this overcomes Newton's Third law of attraction, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If that was the case, then one side would not be stronger and one side would not be weaker. I've managed to set up on this where it is stronger on one side and weaker on one side. It says weak, strong. Oops. As you can see. Also on the top, no magnetic field. That's also important. We don't want the magnetism of that field seeing the magnetism of this field either. We only want the magnetism to be seen that's in the front. Think in terms of this like the barrel of a gun, a rectangular gun. And so what we're doing is we're focusing the flux, the uh, magnetic field, so it doesn't spread out, it doesn't spread up and around like it normally would. It's cut off, it's cut off here, it's cut off here. This way, let's put this back now. Okay, how's this go? I think like that, if I recall correctly. Oops, okay. This way, when the magnets approach this side, it doesn't see, oh, you know what? I got this upside down. Or do I? I'm confused now. Let's see if it works. Yeah, okay, that's correct. So what it is here is that we still have magnet to metal attraction. But on this side, we have repulsion because I have this set up to repulse. So when you go like that, it wants to go on through and keep on going. Okay, so anyway. Um, so that's how all this works. I have to build uh, at least three more of these, like I said once before, and then one will go here at the six o'clock position, nine, twelve, and three o'clock position. Think in terms of like cylinders of a car. I think we may need to make this an eight cylinder. 
But right now I have four magnets on here and it's really well balanced. I mean, really, really, really good balance, um, which is important. Otherwise, if it's not balanced, then you have an uphill and you have a down, you have an uphill and you have a downhill. Then the stators fight in the uphill and then the stator loses out because there's only one stator. I think in terms of one piston car engine, I know this is not a piston, there's no compression. I'm just using it as a metaphor. So we need seven more cylinders, if you will, all the way around, or at least three more for a total of four. That's my next goal. Also, those who are following me, I still am going to do the V-Gate Challenge because I truly believe that the V-Gate is possible, even if I have to incorporate some of this technology into the V-Gate. Anyway, well, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'm back, and hopefully we'll get this done now. Finally, I'll get all my arms, all these, these are called stators. And this is the armature, and these are the armature magnets. Uh, these are one inch by one inch or cylinder magnets. That's all they are. So let me zoom in a little bit if I can. There you go. Here, I got one over here I can show you. Yeah, right here. Uh. This one has a hole in it, though. Pretty cool. These are N42s, not 52s. And they're neodymium. Okay. Alrighty. That's it. Thank you for letting me entertain you. I kindly appreciate it. Take care now.